So, I actually have gotten a hold of the uh, much vaunted and, and many and much sought for Kill Team Shadow Vaults. Now, um, I'm not going to bore you with the things that we have already seen, like the terrain and whatnot, but uh, as you can see here, what you get is a sprue from the Immortals, and this contains everything you need to make the Despotech and uh, the Immortals, the Death Marks, it contains all the weapons, the bodies, everything you need all together. So that's uh, one set there where that you can build. Um, this is the real piece here that you're that you're missing out if you didn't get the box. Uh, this contains the hauler and the turret and the weapons locker and uh, the um, all of the extra accessories like the weapon piles and whatnot. That's really the only thing that you're seeing that's different. Uh, now what we've got here is the um, Karskin sprue, or at least one of them anyway. And as you can see, you have to put faces on heads on some of these. So honestly, I mean, it, it has a very Necromunda vibe to it because that's what you have to do for Necromunda. Now personally, I'll probably end up using those heads because they're already together. I'm not sure why they did the, du the dual head thing. I mean, yeah, it's customizable. Most of the faces look the same. So here is the second Karskin sprue, along with uh, my favorite gun, the plasma gun, because, you know, the plasma gun is baller, and uh, so far, my favorite weapon and the most um, effective weapon on a kill team. So you also get, and this is uh, kind of interesting, the, uh, the new Cryptek actually is two sprues. You've got one sprue that mainly has all of his uh, his little scarab that he's riding on and then one sprue that's mostly him so that's that's what you get for that and then you have another sprue which has some different things for the um, the apprentice cryptech and the um, couple of plasma sites and it has some alternate heads and things like that now <clears throat> Obviously, this is all of the stuff that we have seen before. If you have into the, you know, um, if you have anyone, if you have the first, the first one of the of this season of Kill Team, you have this terrain already, so you're not missing much. But I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, snip it and clip it as I always do. And uh, of course, we have our divider here, which looks nice. And of course, uh, also we get the bases that we need along with the book and conversely the instructions and then you get the um, transfer sheet for the Cadians and this um, and now I have yet to use a transfer sheet I might actually do it for these guys who knows and then of course you get the board now this does actually say shadow vaults on it so I, I don't know if it's exactly the same but you know, it's got some Necromunda vibe on it from that little, uh, from the Zone Mortalis tile, if you look there. Anyway, so, looking at the instructions, um, the Cryptech can only be built one way. But, if you look at the book, you have three options. You have the Chronomancer, the Psychomancer, y you know what I, you see what I'm getting at. So, you can actually come through and you can use, um, the, the Cryptek for any three of those, which is kind of neat. That's kind of cool. So you can kind of customize your leader for your Necrons. Now I'm I'm really interested in the Hyrotech Circle myself because I have a lot of Necrons, and my Necron kill team I feel like it didn't really do very well. Honestly, the action point um, it, it, I feel like the web was missing a action points and whatnot. So anyway, um, you get your Cryptek. In one of three flavors, you get your two plasma sites, and then you get the apprentice, and you get a couple of options. But uh, the death mark, I will probably make a couple of death marks off of this sprue because I have a bunch of immortals with the gauze weapon on them. So um, that's probably going to be my choice, quite honestly, because um, if you if you look uh, also. Uh, the reanimation protocols are different for this skill team and I'm guessing that's because they're a little more powerful 
or at least they look to be a little more powerful from what I've seen. Because the um, the animation protocols for the regular Tomb World kill team is a little bit different. Um, anyway, so you get all of the normal stuff you get for uh, for this version of Kill Team. You get all of the lore and the extra rules and, and whatnot. Uh, but this is the only thing that is truly different. Um, if you page through, you got everything that's normal, right? But then if you if you get to this page, this is where things change. This is where you get the rules for the new terrain and the new stuff. You've got the bomb, you've got the turret, you've got the hauler, uh, you've got the piles of, of weapons, and then you've got your three new walls as well. Uh, so the bomb, actually, you can use that for the uh, countdown game as well that comes from Barnes & Noble. I might actually do that myself. Uh, so... The uh, hauler comes in two configurations, and uh, to do something a little bit different that I haven't seen anyone do yet, I think I'm going to go ahead and build it and show you how I'm going to build it to make use of it. Um, so in the instructions, if you look here, the uh, hauler itself can be built in one of two ways. Um, you can either build the hauler with just a bed, just like a little truck looking thing with tracks on it, or you can put the arm on it. Now that of course is something that we can solve pretty easily with either um, you know putting it together in a certain way or magnets are also an alternative that, that we can do. That way you can use either or depending on what you want to do. Um, I'm not really sure why they didn't just put like a hole in the bed of the hauler and then uh, just you know make the bomb attachable. But anyway, those are the magnets that I'm going to use. They're just about the right size. The problem is the um, they're kind of big. They're kind of thick a little bit for this. What I use them for actually is to put on my bases and uh, attach my bases. So the turret. The turret is also a little bit interesting. It doesn't want you to put anything together on the swivel point, which is kind of weird, uh, but we'll get to that. As you can see here with the car skins, you actually can, um, obviously you have options, all right? So your leader is the only one that has a bunch of options that you can't build, but basically you can build all of the specialists. As you can see here, you've got the ones in the blue are the specialists themselves. So you can build every single specialist for the car skins. Plus, you can also build the gunners, which is good because you can have up to four gunners and or the sniper as well. The sniper actually counts as one of your, I guess, big weapons or whatnot. So then these guys here are your are your gunners. Those are your options for your gunners. Um, so I, I like how they did that this time because it gives you all four choices, which is good. That's a good thing. Um, the Necrons themselves, I'm not going to go much over those because there's not much new here except for maybe a couple of pieces on the uh, Deathmark and the new Apprentech and the Cryptech. But the Immortals and the Deathmarks pretty much are the same instructions as they were. And the Plasma Sites are pretty easy as well. So nothing big there, nothing crazy. That's not going to do... Um, it's not going to do too much. So the Karskin kill team is kind of cool. You, you've got um, one, your your one, t your sergeant, your leader, and then you pick the rest of them from the list there, and you can have up to four gunners with four different weapons, or you can have three gunners and a sharpshooter, if I'm reading this correctly, because it looks like, as I said before down here, your sharpshooter counts as one of your heavy weapons. Which is not a bad thing. I think it'd be kind of cool. Honestly, um, I probably I might end up getting two sets of these because I, I really like this this kill team, and I I think I might get another set just so I can you know play with color schemes and whatnot. But I, I kind of like these guys. I, I've never really been a big fan of Imperial Guard, but you know because having to build two hundred troops to match against, say, for instance, my Thousand Sons. You know, I've got a couple of handfuls of troops, and I'm almost up to 1,700, uh, you know, points for my army. Uh, 
But the sergeant, as you can see, um, I'm probably going to end up using the plasma pistol and the chain sword. One other thing that I thought was kind of neat is in the book here, as you can see, it gives examples of the color schemes for all of the other kill teams, at least the specialist kill teams that came in the boxes. And um, I'm going to post it here soon, but I actually just got done painting the orcs from Chalnath. And I'm working on the sisters as well. And as you can see, you get your setting up, you know, your terrain set up. Um, you get your key for all your kill zone terrain. Um, this is all kind of, this, this is all the same. Okay, and you get your mission pack where you can, you know, you got your table where you can uh, generate the mission that you're going to go on. And then you've got your um, infiltration rules. And then you've got one, two, and then three, four, five, six, seven. If I can turn the page here. And yep, eight and nine you have nine total missions on the campaign itself now also there is another mission pack here as you can see there is a it, it's a um, everything is symmetrical in this particular mission pack to where you can put together two sets of terrain and the objective is the same on both sides the terrain is all symmetrical and put together to where everything is you know Obviously the same, hence the word symmetrical, but you also get um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine of those as well, which is kind of neat. And then of course there's the, you know, the sheets. So th this expansion has quite a bit to offer, and I'm surprised that it went out of print so soon. It's definitely worth the buy. Now on to my uh, my crazy uh, changing of, of, of speed here. Um, so as you can see, there's several ways that you could do it. Um, you could, in, in particular, you could put a magnet in there, or you could glue that second plate down and just rest the bomb on the plate. Me in particular, I am definitely going to magnetize it because, you know, I like complicated things. So as you can see, I already have attached my magnet to the center there. And I made sure to kind of line it up on the other side just to make sure that it's in the right place. And I did that by putting the magnet on the top in the center of the arm. Um, as soon as I hit the glue, I put that magnet on the other side and let it dry. That way, you know, the magnet was in the right spot. Now, um, the of the two different ones here, as you can see, I was testing a smaller magnet to see if this little magnet would work. And it was just not powerful enough. It, it didn't have the reach to get through the plastic. It couldn't hold on, and it wasn't it wasn't really staying. So I used a little bit of the um, uh, putty here, the poster tack, to attach everything up. So that was fairly easy enough, simple enough um, to to put everything to attach everything up, and it it, it worked out uh, pretty good in the end, to tell you the truth. So after digging the uh, plastic out of there with a exacto knife and my drill, the magnet fit okay. So we're we're gonna call that a success. It it uh, magnetized pretty good. Uh, the turret itself, the turret was was fairly easy to put together. Honestly, um, I did struggle with the sides a little bit because uh, the uh, uh, the glue came off as I was trying to fit everything together, which that happens. So it's not a big deal. Uh, once I put the two panels on the on the side there, um, on on the front and the back, that got everything all lined up and and I got everything uh, set and properly uh, put together. That way, I didn't have to, um, you know, hold it so much. Um, so that was the easy part, and um, the with the turret, I did put a little bit of plastic cement on the two pieces that go inside of the swivel so here's the here's the end here and uh, this is the magnetized arm and uh, on the hauler and you know th this is all really cool and whatnot but I, I'm pretty sure they're going to come out with this stuff um, again in a, in a separate box but uh, so I got a lot of stimping to do 
I got a lot of cleaning to do and painting to do. But uh, if you would please like and subscribe, hit the bell button if you want to get notified. And I appreciate everyone who watches. Thank you very much. And uh, go out and buy a kill team if you can find it.